right, good morning, McHugh, and we're here with our math problem of the day solvers. We have Katia Gonzalez, Haley Holden, go ahead and wave at the camera, ladies, uh, Kyron Beavers, and Peyton Holden, and we're going to talk about uh, the math problem of the week from last week. The problem was, a teacher is sorting all of her books. She has 54 biographies, seven times as many fiction books as biographies, 23 fewer dictionaries than biographies, and nine times as many picture books as dictionaries. Wow, that was kind of confusing. All right, the question is, how many of each type of book does the teacher have? All right, and Katia, how did you solve that problem? Uh, first I multiplied 54 times 7, and my answer was 378. I multiplied 54 times 7 because the problem says the teacher has 54 biographies and 7 times as many fiction as biographies. Then I subtracted 54 minus 23 and got 31. After that, I multiplied 31 times 9 and I got 279. I multiplied those numbers because the teacher has 31 dictionaries and 9 times as many picture books. And so the teacher has 54 biographies, 378 fiction books, 31 dictionaries and 279 picture books. So it sounded like you used multiplication and subtraction most of them to solve that, right? Mm -hmm. Great thinking. Way to go. Haley, what did you do there, girl? Um, I knew I started with 54 biographies. Um, so it said I had seven times as many fiction books than biographies. So I looked at the keyword times and multiplied seven times as many fiction books than biographies. And... Um, the and got 378. Then when I had to find 23 fewer dictionaries and biographies, I looked at the keyword fewer and decided subtraction um, to subtract, not divide, because it didn't say to put them in groups. It said to find fewer, so I subtracted 23 from my 54 bios and got one or 31 dictionaries. Then I took nine times as many picture books as dictionaries and got 279 picture books. I like how you used like the keywords that sound like they helped you out, out quite a bit, didn't they? Like fewer or times, and uh, that's always what we're looking for in math is those words that help us out. Kyron, you took a little different approach. Uh, why don't you kind of explain what you did here? Well, I used bar modeling. Uh -huh. The problem says she has 54 dictionaries, so I made it to bar 54. So first I know there are 54 biographies, so I made it to bar. Now I need to make fiction to bar seven times as much. Uh, so I did 54 times 7 equal, and I got 378. Yep. I checked my work and did with that addition. So I made my fiction bar 7 times as long. Now it says 23 or fewer. So I used subtraction. 54, Go ahead, 54 minus 23 equals 31. So your bar was smaller for the dictionaries than it was for the biographies, right? Yep, okay. Now I need to make 9 times as much as 31, 31 times 9 equals 279. And that's how I get my answer. Right. And I don't know, Mrs. Uh, Bearden, if we can get a picture of this any closer, but you see he's got his bars up here, and they are different bars for the different ones. So nice job there, Kyron. I haven't seen anybody use that this year yet. All right, Peyton Holden, what did you do over there? Well, first I read the entire problem so I could think of everything. Mm -hmm. Then I went back and it said there were seven times as many fiction books as vials. I knew times meant multiply, so I multiplied 54 times 7 and got my answer. Then it said there were 23 fewer dictionaries than vials. So fewer meant to me subtract. So I subtracted 23 from the number of vials. Then, it said there were nine times as many picture books as dictionaries. Finally, I multiplied nine times the number of dictionaries. My answers were 54 bios, 378 fiction, 300, I mean, 31 dictionaries, and 279 picture books. All right. Hey, guys and gals, way to go. Uh, it sounded like we really were using our keywords and telling us what to do. We used a picture kind of here, Kyron, with the model drawing is what I call bar model drawing, to help us out to stay organized, too. And we used multiplication and subtraction on almost all of them. So way to go, Peyton. High five. Kyron, way to go. Haley, Katia, nice work. Guys, I hope you do the problem of the week next week, and you might have a chance to be here, too. Thank you. Thank you.